These updates today prove that they are trying to do one thing with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So we got another round of updates and today I want to show you the biggest ones and then take a look at how they actually affect the gameplay, if at all. And today I want to tell you, you know, what I believe is the biggest thing that Gun and Sumo is trying to do with this game overall. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these changes. Now, really quick, if you like what I do, consider subscribing for more Texas Chainsaw Massacre and other games that I'll be introducing on the channel here very soon. They've done some things with Hitchhiker here that I think are significant. One I had never heard of, to be honest with you, is uh, apparently he could pass through doors and walls with his traps or something. So anyways, they fixed that. I didn't even know that existed. Uh, but one I have heard a lot about is if one of the victims steps into a Hitchhiker trap, they can no longer use gaps or cross spaces. Well, they finally fixed that. So that's good on the victim side. Another one that I thought was pretty huge is... You can no longer set the traps right next to a ladder. So essentially what a lot of, you know, higher level hitchhiker players would do, including myself, is I would set the trap next to the one given ladder in the map. I'm trying to think about all the maps and I'm fairly certain there's one, maybe there's two in one map. But regardless, using one of those traps, actually I know on gas station there's actually two ladders. Uh, the other maps, as far as I can Remember, there's only one. But using those traps next to ladders is a really kind of clever way of playing things, I think. But it makes it really difficult for the victim that gets caught in that because there's no way to counter that. So now the radius at which you could put that trap around the ladder is much greater. So you would almost have to assume that they come up the ladder, they don't look at their you know, surroundings at all, and they just happen to step into it. I tried this to kind of go to more of a high traffic area around one of the ladders in Slaughterhouse, and it, it didn't work. I just ended up picking it up and moving it somewhere else. But this is a good thing. You should be able to counter, you know, pretty much everything in the game. I've talked about this before, and we'll talk about it a little bit in this video as far as balance, but <laughs> that is something that they did fix. They also fixed Johnny and Sissy's lunges. Sissy's been a problem in the game for, you know, pretty much since day one. And not only can she, you know, she was able to swing a bunch of times before running out of stamina. And then, you know, she was basically poisoning everybody every time she would slash her freaking knife. Well, then she had the ability to lunge further along with Johnny. So now they've made it where it's more in line with the rest of the killers, making it more consistent. This is a huge one. The fuse box can now be reset by the family. There is a cooldown similar to generators and batteries, but now you can turn that thing off. There was basically no counter to this playing as the family. Once they get that thing open, the only thing you could really hope for is that bubble would block the doorway and that's assuming they don't stun him. And you know, as soon as you take a swing, you know, they might take a hit, but they're out. And so I really hate that exit when I'm playing as family. I love it when I'm playing as victim, obviously, but it, it has been a problem. And so they fixed that. You can now turn it off. I actually did it earlier today and it's not super quick. It still gives them enough time to essentially escape because that victim did escape. Um, and so if they know where the basement exit is, they're still probably going to be able to escape but if you can get Bubba to maybe block him off and then wait for the cooldown there's a variety of ways that you can get around this and at least when you're playing as the family you have the option to turn this off they also made it to where the family now has stun immunity for 10 seconds after the initial stun ends so gone are the days where you know Leland or some of the other characters Leland is pretty notorious for this you know will continuously stun you over and over even if there's only three picks in a pile now or three bone shards in a pile um, you know it still was super annoying so now you have a 10 second immunity thing where you can't be stunned this does not work if you get stunned by a victim that comes out of a hiding spot though but if a family member is stunned and then you try to slam a door on them it will not work again for that 10 second immunity period and that also applies to the taekwondo door perk that you can have on it lowers the duration of the stun uh, when you have that perk on and then the agitator perk has been decreased as well 
So at level one, it's like one and a half levels. At two, it's, uh, you know, two levels. And then at three, it's now two and a half levels. So if you go through that whole time and you're leveling up Grandpa, somebody comes in and stabs him with that perk on, it's not going to drop you all the way back down. So that's a good thing. Now, what I mentioned in the beginning is these updates prove one thing with Texas Chainsaw. In my opinion, this proves they're trying to make the game as balanced as possible while still edging a little bit of the total power to the family, which is the way it should be, right? And you can say, oh, it's just a game. It's supposed to be fun. I agree 110%. We don't want this to become Dead by Daylight, and we don't want it to die off like the Evil Dead. At least I don't. But the majority of the power needs to stay with the family, and it feels like a real achievement when you escape as a victim, not the other way around. So I think they are constantly trying to do this. They've made adjustments now, a lot of adjustments on both sides, but it seems like they're slowly starting to you know, give a little bit of the edge to the family, taking a little bit away from the victims, and making this a more balanced experience for everyone. Now, that doesn't mean this game still doesn't have issues. There's queue time issues. Uh, there's still the issue of content. You know, how are they going to proceed if they don't have licenses to other games? That's for another video, though. So I'd love to hear what your opinion is of these updates they did today. Do you like it? Maybe you don't like it. Let me know if you like this video. Maybe you like one of these other ones. And also, if you enjoy this Texas Chainsaw Massacre content, consider subscribing. If you want to see additional games, if you want me to go through additional games and tell you some of the things you may have missed in some of those other games, love to hear about that. Big thanks to you guys. See you in the next one. And as always, holding down.